Good evening, and welcome to Campfire Confessions. Another Greg Briggs retirement video. Time for a shot of the best tequila, personified tequila. I'm your host, Professor Pearsonified. Is that Pearsonified? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've heard of that tequila. Yeah, I've heard of Pearsonified, yeah. Wow, oh, Pearsonified's the best. Tonight, we go on a magical journey that spans the globe, listening for voices. Hello, is anyone there? <laughs> Hello? Voices that have something very special to say to Mr. Briggs. We're so happy for you. <laughs> These voices have been forever changed by Mr. Briggs. Hello, Jason. Shall we begin? Hey Greg, congratulations. This is really exciting. Congratulations on your retirement, Greg. <laughs> Greg Briggs. GB, as you literally sail off into the sunset, I have a long list of things I need to thank you for. Congratulations, congratulations Greg. Greg. Hi, Greg. Quick story about Greg Briggs. First time I ever met Greg I was here at Fire Station 7. Greg Briggs. Happy retirement. First time we met Greg Briggs, we were pretty sure that he roofied us. <laughs> I'm all Greg! And you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. And you may find yourself in another part of the world. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. And you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. And you may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? Hi, I'm TV's Jason Foster. And I'm still Chris Pearson. Captain Briggs, AKA Go Go Gadget. Hey, Greg. Greg Briggs retiring from the fire department. Yo, Greg. Howdy, Greg. Congratulations, Greg. This is Marco Barbarito, the disco cowboy. Greg Briggs, congratulations. Congratulations on your retirement. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. I wanted to wish you congratulations on your retirement. Greg, you have already had a hundred lifetimes worth of adventures. And you may ask yourself, how do I work this? And you may ask Hello, Greg. Really appreciate all that you've done to organize some awesome adventures for all of us over the years. That right there is a street. Congratulations on retirement. But it just happens to be the very spot right here on this corner of 13th and Aiden. You're a lucky, lucky man. Where I hit the lot. Oh my gosh, I have so much to say about Greg Briggs. Where I became socially wealthy can't believe you're retiring so i'm here in virginia and i'm raising a glass to you and i'm saying good luck to you i think one of the best things i've learned from greg is to not look for blame it's best to just look for a solution but to figure out how to get yourself out of that first rather than find someone to blame for your problem and then try to figure out what happened to get you there happy retirement and i hope that all of your future problems have easy solutions and are full of rainbows. Greg Briggs taught me everything I need to know about swinging a sledgehammer. <laughs> he came into a rafting and kayaking store I worked at when I was in college. I hadn't known Greg very long after moving to Boise. When he invited me on this raft trip, I had no idea kind of what was going on. When he invited me on a, on a rafting excursion, imagine that. I show up. He had a school bus with 35 of his his college friends. So I had the chance to go with Greg on one of his rafting adventures in Hell's Canyon. Greg's like, let's play a game. Find the roundest rock you can. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a hot tub, a river hot tub. We turned a raft upside down and did rock races. And I'm like, how are we gonna have a hot tub in Hell's Canyon? And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get it taken care of. <laughs> Some of the most fun I've had on a river. Thank you, Greg. We have little floaties with our Alaskan king crab legs and micro brews doing river hot tub in the middle of nowhere. The last thing that was on there was a keg of beer sitting on the beach. He said, Pearson, you gotta put that in your paddle boat. You know, we've had a few sketchy adventures together. I said, where am I gonna put it? You know, we get on these river trips and we're like, yeah, that looks doable. 
and then maybe it wasn't so doable. So we had a keg of beer on my paddle boat. But we survive it, and then that creates the bond that lasts forever. <laughs> I found out since then, that's Greg Briggs' standard operating procedure. Yeah, that's awesome. I think one of the best things that could have ever come from a friendship is that you taught me to never put limitations on adventure. Greg, I've been made proud of you many times, and the first time I saw you drive a fire truck in a parade in Boise, um, Jessica handed you Baby Tucker um, right near the end, and he got to ride with you in a truck in the truck, and I was so proud of you. I, I can see him not as my dad and as an intellectual, and be like, that is one of the smartest people I've ever met. One hundred percent, I would never want a different dad. Okay, wait, give me just a second. Just a second. I'm gonna get him a little something. Yeah. They're encouraging, fun, creative. Hi, I'd like to place an order to go. Computer, something like that, I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna get one order of nachos and no jalapenos. I just feel like that's the perfect thing for you to have in common with me. Could we also get a, uh, like a soup cup full of ranch? And I just know that if I have my dad's nose, I have my dad's life. Me and my dad both love it, so it'll be great. Rated on a scale of nine to 10. It's nachos, bro. And then, it's like asking a Catholic to rate Jesus on a scale of one to 10. <laughs> and cut. Okay, so this is what I do most of the time. Greg, uh, congratulations on your retirement. Just the name Greg Briggs puts a smile on my face. You work hard, you play hard. You know, I learned a lot from Greg. You live life with intention. What he brings to the table, I think the best, is that he can think outside of the box. Man, I hope you have a great retirement. Greg was never afraid to look at new and innovative ways of doing things. We're out here now, like trying to put up some hot spots, but there's trees falling so fast. We just pulled into this driveway right here. I wish he could have been chief of department be honest, just because he had that, uh, that talent and that capability to be able to do it. I hope that I get to know you and your family and get to play with you and your family for decades to come. I think he will just always be known as the smartest guy that thinks outside the box. He is being known as one of the, one of the smartest guys that we've ever had come through the fire service and Boise Fire Department. It's just so silly. It's so silly how windy it is out here this morning. <laughs> one or two words that describe Greg. I'm gonna stick to one right now. Um, it's the word joy. Uh, you dream up um, ways to create it. You come up with plans to execute it, and then you just spread it indiscriminately to the people around you. Uh, my two words are combined into one word to make a new word, which is self-explanatory. Scatter focused. He's the Pied Piper of Boise. I always know if Greg's around, there's bound to be a lot of fun, but I also know I'll probably learn something. Greg's tide does raise all boats in the harbor. That's for sure. You are an incredible friend and an incredible man and an inspiration in all that you do and all that you make possible for all of us. His mind is just beautiful. I don't know where the years uh, went, but we had some real good times in the past, and I'm looking forward to some good times in the future. I know whatever comes next is going to be a fun adventure because you know how to find it, make it, manifest it, and I love you. Hi, Hi Greg. Greg. It's Jamie here. And Arena. And we want to say congratulations on your retirement. We're so happy for you. Knowing you and burning with you at Altitude Lounge has changed our lives and brought us so much joy. We, we love, love you. you. And we wish you and Jess and the kids all the best adventures. I'm gonna pour you a drink. Greg, uh, congratulations on your retirement. 
Thank you for all your life lessons. Just wanted to say I love you and congratulations. You're an amazing dude. I compare being your friend to something like baking a cake. Congratulations, Greg, and happy retirement. When you're with Greg Briggs, the focus is on the frosting and what's going to go on top of the cake and all the like excitement that's going to happen around the cake. You probably saved my life two, three times somehow out there in the rivers and stuff. And now, now you have some time to go do some adventures. And I used to be like kind of freaked out by that. Congratulations on your retirement. And I love you very much. Because I thought if I was focused on the frosting, like the cake would never get made. Okay, that's plenty. But that's not true. Um, I learned from you that the cake has to be built. 2009, you let Dan and I join Altitude Lounge and the rest is history. And you can be completely focused on the frosting and the party that happens right there. And then it all comes together, unusually in spectacular fashion. May your skies be full. So, congratulations. Let's party. Let's eat cake. May your fryers be more full, specifically of two corn dogs, maybe for camp. But what an auspicious moment, retirement. You're someone who relishes in knowledge and is always keen to master something new. The communities that you've created and the friends you've pulled together and the leadership you've shown for so many years. Uh, so glad uh, that you're part of my life, that we've been friends for so long. We were both sleeping on the side of the river and you woke me up and we both got up and we watched the moon rise over the mountains. My favorite Greg Briggs story uh, I actually share with Chris Pearson um, and it happened on a Monday. And we just hung out there for a couple hours just watching the moon rise over the mountains. Greg is dressed as a mushroom uh, and he looked amazing. Um, I just thought to myself at the time like how lucky I was to have a friend like you. I <laughs> laughed and laughed. And I still laugh about that, and I knew right then that I would follow this man anywhere he went. My retirement wish for you is that you just sail those seas that you've been waiting to sail upon. I wanted to wish you well on this next chapter of your life. And get all of the adventures, pirate adventures, mermaid adventures, merpeople adventures. Here's to smooth sailing, caviar dreams, and doing whatever the fuck you want. I cannot wait to see what this next phase of your life has in store and what adventures you'll plan. Although I think for you, your life is full of so many exciting things. I mean, what's really gonna be all that different, right? You are one of the only people I know that is truly a renaissance man. And despite being a walking compendium of practical solutions, you are someone who does not use that position to place yourself up on a pedestal, you don't demean people. The most important things I've learned from Greg are examples of kindness and generosity. You would rather share that knowledge and empower people uh, to find solutions, um, and I find that to be truly inspiring. What's something you've learned from Greg? Well, the better question is, is what haven't I learned from Greg? Don't forget to plan for fun. Because I've learned everything from Greg. Don't forget to have fun. He was the first person that I've ever been camping with that um, had a checklist. I learned from you that I put my feet downstream and I lie on my back when I fall out of a boat rafting. The more audacious, the more fun. If there ever is a zombie apocalypse, use Excel. I want to be on Greg Briggs' zombie apocalypse team. Right? I want you to know that I just really cherish our friendship and I've learned so much from you and I, uh, my life is better because you and Jess and the kids have been in it. Maybe you can get out there and uh, have some fun. Take some trips for once. Congratulations. You've earned it. It's Miller time. Thank you so much for your service. Maybe even come to Raleigh Beach, Thailand, where I am right now. And you can come here and we can hang out finally again. Thank you for taking us crabbing. That was maybe my favorite vacation ever. Hey, Greg, it's your stepmother, your vacant stepmother. And I don't see you often, buddy, but, uh, but I really care about you, and I'm really, really proud to have been a part of your life. Calling to say we love you, and we're so proud of you. Well, that just about does it. Wraps the whole thing up. Greg's retirement, he's in a good place. 
I hope it's a place where he never feels alone. I'm sure it's a place it feels like home. There is a house built out of stone. Wooden floors, walls, and windowsills. Tables and chairs rolled by all the time. Oh my god. This is a place where I don't feel. Let's see how we do, okay? Let's see. All right. All right, this is a lot of work to get you to the top of the hill. We're going to slide down. We're gonna sli are you going to slide down? Uh-huh. So much work. Look at, look at the pre pretty view behind us. All right. I mean, I see the, the, the I, I see people talk about them. And knowing that your dad is someone that you're so close with, someone that symbolizes everything that you hope to be as a person, is, is making that kind of an impact on people. All right, bud. Congratulations and hope you have a great time and hope to see you soon. Bye. We love you, buddy. Sad John V. And we wish you and Jeff and the kids all the best adventures for the years to come. Love you, Greg. Love you. I love you dearly. I'm so happy for you. Hawaii 5 0, baby. Cheers, brother. Love you. I can't wait to share uh, the next adventure with you. I love you, brother. We love you, son. I'm going to miss you. Uh, I hope you keep creating that joy and spreading it to the people around you. You have changed my life. Thank you, Craig. And you have changed many other people's lives. I love you, buddy. And we all thank you for it. Congratulations to both of you. I love you. I love you, man. We'll see you soon. I love you. Cheers, buddy. May you always be with the following wind. And be safe out there. Love you. Happy retirement. Love you. Well, of course. He knows how much I love him. We all love you. You know why? It's a little bit emotional, so. Sure. It's catching me a lot. I love emotion. Yeah. <laughs> Just bring that out. You've done such a good job with everything you've worked at. First off, I want to tell you thanks, Greg. It's been a good ride, long, uh, fun ride, you know, 27 years. Captain Briggs, enjoy your retirement, and we are going to miss you very much. I wish you and Jess, the kids, all the happiness moving forward. Cheers, Greg and Jess. Greg, congrats on a long career that spanned probably over 30 years. Man, you just loved it. You loved it. You loved your career. And I'm glad you get to rest. And you were the best first captain ever to work for. Thanks for pushing me to be the best that I could be. Station 3 shenanigans. I hope we never see that boat parked in your yard. I hope it's out adventuring the world somewhere, which I know it will be. You're going to be missed, buddy. Love you guys. Congrats. Cheers. I'm so proud of him. Who wouldn't be proud of even knowing someone who is capable of doing what he is capable of doing for so many people? It will just be awesome to be with him, and I feel like this is how it's going to be.